Hey, what's crack a lackin' everybody? Ergonox72 hitting you guys up with yet another awesome, jizztastic commentary video, whatever you want to call it. Hope you guys enjoy. It's just a little domination gameplay on good old lockdown. I actually remember the map name for once. Surprise. Uh, I, you know, I haven't spent a lot of time memorizing, ugh, memorizing the names of the maps in MW3, which I probably should. Um... I know that I memorized a lot of them in Black Ops for some reason, and I also even had this thing where if you just described a map to me in Black Ops, I could easily tell you what map it was. But I have obviously lost that skill, so I might as well just go die in a hole alone in the cold winter alone, because there's no point in living after this point in time. No siree. But <laughs> actually, I, you know, in this gameplay, I really want to talk to you guys about... SMGs. Um, I want to talk to you guys about my personal, my favorite SMG and, you know, why I think it is the best. And I think you guys can already tell which it is. MP7, I'm rocking it, just like most gameplay. Um, and I also want to talk to you guys about the other SMGs in the SMG class and the ones that I think are formidable, the ones that I think are okay, and, you know, everything, you know, whatever. So uh, let's start off with, you know, number three. Uh, my third favorite SMG in MW3 is the PP90M1. Now, you know, it's an interesting, interesting gun. The magazine is probably the most interesting thing about it for me, just because it looks like some kind of weird tube device. I don't know. It's cool. Um, but whatever. I like it because in close quarter ranges, it deals out a lot of bullets. It's, you know, it's fairly accurate. If you throw kick on it, it's a, even more accurate. It's definitely not the best at longer ranges. I wouldn't recommend it. It sprays out a shit ton of bullets. The damage is decent. The fire rate is very good. So, therefore, in those close quarter situations, you're going to be able to hold up against a guy with an A12 or a striker in some situations. Surely, you're not going to be able to hold out against every single one. That's just not plausible. But in most of them, you will. Uh, moving on, I like the P90 as my number two SMG on my top three. I like it just because it has a very tight and accurate... Uh, what do you call it? Crosshairs. And when you spray with it, if you have steady aim, which I do on all my classes just because I find it necessary in, in my playstyle, uh, basically, I find that the uh, P90 really does have a great hip fire. It also, you know, everybody knows it for its giant, giant magazine size. It holds 50 rounds standard. If you use extended mags, it goes up to 70 rounds. So, in many situations, you're going to be able to go kill a guy, kill another, another, another. You may be able to get, you know, five, six guys uh, killed in a single clip, depending on how many bullets you hit uh, with. You know, if you get uh, collaterals, if you get, you know, single shots, whatever it may be. With the uh, extended mags, it, that would also obviously increase the number of people you can kill without even having to reload. With extended mags as well, if you run scavenger, you will also increase the total number of bullets you carry. So the more bullets you have in a uh, close quarter map, possibly, uh, dome, um, what are some other ones, uh, lockdown, and many of the, uh, the rooms and areas in it, quite close quarters. So uh, P90 would be a very good choice for that. Um, <laughs> let's talk about this. AC-130, I hope I'm not boring you guys, but I really would not ever recommend you guys use the AC-130 on lockdown. It is so bad because almost all of the map is either covered or indoors, so I you know, I really won't be using it next time I play this map. Uh, the Reaper, though, was actually quite effective, surprisingly, so I will be using that one. And now, let's get to the MP7. Before this commentary is over, geez, save the best for last, though. I like the MP7 the most, hands down, due to the fact that it has a 40 clip size, which is really good. The 40 clip size helps in a lot of situations. Um, it's close to the P90, you know. P90, uh, yeah, P90. <laughs> uh, make sure, make sure I'm talking about the right one. P90 has 50, obviously. MP7 has 40. I believe the PP90 has somewhere around 32 to be exact. But the MP7 has very low recoil. I enjoy uh, it probably the most due to the fact that the recoil is low. It's a front to back recoil, which means that when you're shooting down range, when you're ADS, it's not going to be moving left to right and up and down so much as front to back. So you're going to be able to hold your target much, much better compared to PP90 M1, which basically uh, has a circular recoil. When you're shooting it, it'll kind of just spray around in a general area, which isn't 
uh, it really is not good for close quarter, uh, or not close, it's good for close quarters, it's bad for long range. I don't, you know, I'm giving you guys faulty tips now, gosh. Also, I like it due to the fact that it has a really high rate of fire, the mobility is super high, fire rate, uh, is, I believe it's a little under the PP90M1. The damage is the exact same, and every other stat is the exact same as the PP90M1, just despite that fire rate. Um, I believe that the best setup you can use with this gun, at least in my personal opinion, I've used it for three prestiges now, solidly, I really enjoy it. I find that two attachments, silencer and rapid fire, uh, really enhance the gun. Due to the fact that it already has low recoil, rapid fire just deals out a lot more bullets, and that just allows you to kill a person faster, and it allows you to win gunfights a lot more often, and the silencer just because I enjoy flanking people. So, just a quick commentary, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please subscribe. Uh, definitely like it. If you didn't, still hit the like button. <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching.